Now we've got former England and Newcastle boss Sam Allardyce with us because he was alongside Sir Alex yesterday for that victory. Good morning, Sam. How are you doing? Morning, Sam. Morning, Sam. Morning, everybody. Good morning. I am uh, nursing a headache, to say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I wasn't the owner of those two wonderful horses yesterday. Mm. So uh, you can imagine the, the atmosphere. Well, the atmosphere in Cheltenham is fantastic anyway, but you can imagine the atmosphere... On Sir Alec and Jed's table yesterday when the back-to-back -back winners came in. It was just, just fantastic. Sam, before the race, the both races, did, did they fancy the horses to win? Uh, Presenter at more than uh, Mon Morrell. Uh, each way, they were saying Mon, Mon Morrell dog go any farther than that. But, you know... It's worthwhile having a having a dabble on the protector rat. So it was, it well, it's still a big field. Still, you have to take a chance. But I'd have to say, um, even though uh, protector rat won, the, the the biggest race was Mon Morale. I mean, it came from absolutely nowhere. We were all ready just to rip our tickets up and say that's the end of it. But because it was at the back, nearly all the way around three miles, seven furlongs, I think it was. And it just came right through the field at the at the very, very end and took the win. So it was announced. But, and being back to back, it wasn't like, you know, it was, the, it was the second race and then it was the sixth or the seventh race. It, immediately after that race, they won, the, they won the next one. So it made it even more exciting. Sam. We all know Sir Alex Ferguson's always loved his horse racing and, uh, you know, he's played in some massive games, well, managed ma massive games, but that's got to be up there with uh, the best days he's had, isn't it? As, as being a football manager and being a, an owner, I'm sure Sir Alex would say, and I'm sure he said to you after the, uh, the race ended, that was a magnificent, just to be involved in that horse. Oh, yes. I mean, we all, we all know his love for horses. Of course, he's, he's many, many years. It's been, it's been his, his distraction from... Uh, from the pressures of football and uh, and of course uh, you know when it pays off it pays off big particularly when the when you when, the, when you're the owner but you know most of us like the races don't they us yeah. footballers or ex footballers managers and obviously uh, I missed Harry unfortunately I was still celebrating um, <laughs> after those wins like you mean but uh, when we saw Harry on the telly coming in it was it was it was a big day for the football world i think it, it was, yeah, it was yeah. and actually a big day for a cory start why was tyrone from cory with you guys how, how is he involved oh, he's, with this? He's, a, he's a mate of jed's son uh jed mason's son oh. uh matthew so we flew flew down on the helicopter the the morning of the of the races not a bad way to travel eh no, so uh, uh so yeah he he'd uh He's, he's, he's injured at the moment. If nobody sees him on Corrie, it's because he's got an ACL replacement and he's recovering from that. But he's a great lad too. Obviously, um, you know, there's Brian Robson there as well with us yesterday. So, yeah, yeah it was a really good yeah. day. Have you got a share in any, Sam? Not now. Long long gone uh, to to, uh, to spend my money on, on a horse. I, I never... I never found, or we never found when I started with Phil Brown. Basically, we never found the, the the right horse really that was that would that would get to the big race or win the big race, like you mean. So uh, uh, it, it, we all know exp how expensive it is, don't we? So uh, you know, I, I left it alone after a couple of years, but still enjoy going on the day. Uh, all the British clubs, Sam. I saw you see a bit of the football as well. You know, getting through to the draw today, which will be very exciting for a lot of teams and a lot of supporters. Um, what do you make of West Ham, the 5-0? And uh, David Moyes, he get, comes under a little bit of pressure at times, but, you know, he's, he's in the quarterfinal again. He won it last season, last year. And, you know, I, I feel he's a little bit hard done by at times. Yeah, we talk, we've talked about this before. I think we know what West Ham fans are like. Uh, love you, love you or, or show your disapproval, depending on how they feel on one particular day or one particular yeah. game. But... Uh, uh, it's been a long time since they've been in Europe. Yeah. Uh, they won Europe last year and, and they're there again this year. And the seventh in the league. So uh, it's about it's about time they actually got behind him rather than go against him, you know. So it won't be all of them, but the vast majority will be, will be OK with it. But there's a small minority that can make themselves sound very, very loud with disapproval sometimes. But, you know... Uh, really done a fantastic job. They couldn't get anybody better. The team has been improving year in and year out. The odd, the odd blip here, the odd blip there. 
uh, but they always come through it. And, you know, it's probably the longest they've been in the Premier League, Ray. Right? Mm. Since I took them up 2011-12, they've been there ever since. So, you know, it's it's a good time for, for, for West Ham. Well said, Sam. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on this morning and enjoy the, the celebrations yeah, more as they come Sam, over. Sam, if you see Alan, uh, do you see him? Uh, we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear a mention of uh, drink while he was not coming in today. So is he teetotal now? Well, we'll see what happens. I highly <laughs> doubt that, but nice one to throw out there all the same. Sam, thank you very much for yeah. coming on. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.